Midnight Sun Camera Obscura runs at the University of Lethbridge Art Gallery until October 20th. Josephine Mills joins us from the Art Gallery and Donald is here as well. He is uh, a big part of the project, of course, a uh, lead artist on the project. So let's start off, uh, Josephine, by talking about a little introduction to the project and your involvement with it. The project has a, a, a long, a substantial research history, so a couple of years of research that Donald and the artists undertook, and they were doing that in Dawson City in the Yukon. So I have known about Donald's work for years and had wanted to work with him and jumped at the opportunity to go up to Dawson City during solstice, summer solstice last year, and the work was just so fantastic. Artists from across Canada as well as an artist from Berlin and they did all these installations just kind of all over town and on the edge of town and on a ferry and you know, you know out in the bush uh, but I could see that it would make a really great exhibition. Um, thinking about just some basic things about science, about the optics, how the eye perceives light. We just so take for granted how cameras work that we don't think about it. So it goes back to earlier technology, uh, but it results in an exhibition that people can really enjoy uh, and the kind of best of contemporary art where it helps people understand complex ideas, but in a way that's really fun and engaging. And just looking around at the, the exhibition, you can really see that the pieces are truly unique and, and very engaging. So Donald, what uh, inspired, I guess, the work? Well, it came from uh, being up in Dawson City in 2004 with myself and some other artists for an exhibition at that time. And uh, with a response to works we were doing then, we came up with the idea of a Camera Obscura Festival. So it took about 10 years for that idea to come about. And it came about through a, a grant from the Social Science and Humanities Research Council of Canada. And that grant, uh, the Camera Obscura Project, brings together this group of artists, uh, numerous students, and also some uh, scholars. So we have a, a scholar, for example, that's a, a world authority on the history of the emergence of optical culture in Europe. So like the camera obscura as an optical device itself, it represents the meeting place of art and science and also of learning and play, which we think of as almost separate activities now. Uh, we have playgrounds and we have universities. Uh, but in the 16th, 17th century, science emerged through uh, seeing the two as essentially codependent. Uh, and, and so I think it's something that artists do through playful activities, they explore complex ideas. And as Josie says, um, an exhibition like this is a chance to see how artists and scholars communicate those ideas. And so we hope it's both uh, a learning opportunity for people here in the gallery, but also a sense of play. And as you mentioned, there were a lot of people involved in the project. So were you surprised by any of the works that came out of it or how, uh, how people interpreted the, the project? I was surprised by all the works that came out of it, <laughs> um, even though I knew where many of them were coming from uh, two years or more in advance. Um, and, and some I didn't really know what those works were going to be till I saw them in Dawson City. But each of them is surprising in its own way. Very interesting. Such an interesting project. Uh, now we mentioned this earlier, but uh, when can people come and check out the exhibition, Josephine? Uh, the main gallery at the university is open Mondays to Friday, so basically business hours. We're always open Thursday evenings until 8.30, and we have quite a few Saturday events, so just check out our, our website, ulag.ca. And then we have a number of activities that we do, so there's drop-in and knitting, there's drawing, uh, there's uh, learning blackfoot beading, um, there's other hands-on activities. So there's plenty of time outside of business hours when the parking's not quite so awful but you know you get really good exercise walking from the parking lot <laughs> that's right exercise and are what more yeah. can you ask for thank yeah. you both so much for joining us okay. we really appreciate thank it yeah. that is midnight sun camera obscura running right here at the university of lethbridge art gallery until october 20th